Hello, I'm Disney Dave and welcome to my channel. Here you can find things all Disney and Walt Disney World. If you're new to my channel, hit the subscribe button and don't forget to click the bell icon to be notified when new content is uploaded. I'm not 
quite a few generic looking buildings and several parks like the one over to your right at Gramercy Park and those of you from that area of New York come to realize the real Gramercy is surrounded by a wrought iron fence and only residents can get in. Well, for whatever would enjoy this park, so as you probably noticed, there's no fence you can get in pretty much whenever you want. Heading on to Fifth Avenue now, you may recognize a few buildings out here like Macy's over to your left. At the 34th Street entrance from the Holiday Classic Miracle on 34th Street, this is the built debut of a young actress named Natalie Wood. You'll also hear some music coming from up ahead on Delancey Street. It's the Blues Brothers in Chicago Bound. And I'm just going to go off mic for a while. Brothers in Chicago Bound. Heading off of Fifth Avenue now and into a much less glamorous portion of New York on South Street. You'll notice that the ride starts to get just a bit bumpy, but don't worry about it. I promise it has nothing to do with Jose's driving. It's actually the road. This area of New York is paved with what looks like cobblestone, but looks can't be deceiving. It's really cement. When it was still wet, we came through with a cookie cutter light device to cut out the stones. Then when it dried, our art department came through and individually hand painted each and every stone. The same type of technique was used with the buildings around you, which you can see look like they're decades old. This is due to an aging technique known as distressing. Live action set show that takes place every night out here on our lagoons. It's about 10 minutes long, starts at 8 o'clock, and you'll want to be out here a bit early. Maybe even a half hour early because the area around the lagoon gets crowded very quickly. You don't want to miss a second of our spectacular. Heading out of New York now and into Hollywood. We're turning on to Sunset Boulevard, passing Mel's Drive-In over your right-hand side. You should recognize Mel's if you've ever seen the movie American Graffiti. The movie else had a few risks. All the producers thought it would flop. As it turned out, those producers were dead wrong. Lux's film idea was later released, and it was a big hit called Star Wars. Heading on to Hollywood Boulevard now, take a look to your left, and you'll see the Pantages Theater, which in the 1950s was home to the Academy Awards ceremony. Here is where you can find the Jurassic Park behind the scenes exhibit. That's where you can see the Triceratops Cinnabot, for which Stan Winston Studios won an Academy Award for special effects. Also to your left is a gray and white building called the Crest by the Dime. This building still stands out in Hollywood, however, it's had a paint job and a name change. It's now a purple and pink building known as Frederick's Hollywood. Right after that is the Hotel Beverly Wilshire, now named the Regent Beverly Wilshire, which you may know from movies like Beverly Hills Cop and Pretty Woman. Well, speaking of Pretty Woman, take a look over to your right-hand side and you'll see everybody's favorite redhead. It's Lucy. Well, Ricky should be around here somewhere, but I don't see him. You never know who you're going to run into out here in Hollywood. Our stars do draw quite a crowd. Of course, they're always happy to have their pictures taken with their fans, and maybe even sign an autograph or two. Well, crossing now from Hollywood Boulevard to Rodeo Drive, keep looking over to your right-hand side, and you'll see a cinder block building, which is, in reality, not cinder block. It's dark.
Stuntacular, featuring the Universal Studios.